Hey, what's up? My name is Sun and this is my home studio. Check it out. Yeah. In the past year, I've a lot of ups and downs. Dropped a couple songs looking back like I don't like the sound. Maybe it was just the tone. Maybe it was just the lyrics. Maybe it was just the fact that it wasn't perfect. Had me questioning if the music was even worth it. Whatever it was, man, it pushed me to stay working. Learned some new things. Had on my mood swings. That one smile one time wasn't pretend. Lost some people, made some new friends. Find myself pushing everyone I have to decide. No offense. Counting on me, but I might cut ties with him like a split end. I don't mean to go right now, but I have to. Talking to the man in the mirror like I don't like you. Yeah. Hey, I'm back. Just miss me? It's been a while, but I'm here now. Last record it was kinda scary. I'm still a little lost, but I found. Got a new motive and a new track. Maybe it's fake, I should probably quit rap. Same person, I'm still working. I'm still growing and I'm still learning. But my skin is feeling so cold. Kinda feel like it's my time to go. Man, I've always been told no, but every no is a step closer to the yes. If you never even asked, would you live in regret? Remember that every mistake. Alright, starting in this section, I have a SE Electronics reflection filter. It gives it some acoustic treatment for when I am recording. I am running a blue Bluebird, literally blue, SL large diaphragm condenser mic. Came with a shock mount. It connects um, through XLR. Um, the reflection filter connects to my mic stand, which is a Yorkville mic stand. It came with a boom, but I took the boom off. Um, I also have a Apex six inch deluxe pop filter. Um, whichever pop filter you want to use, that will work just fine. I am also using Audio Technica's M30X headphones, and they sound amazing. So that's it for this section. All right, over here I got all these goodies. I'm going to start right here. Um, I forgot what this thing is called, but I believe it goes on your cap when you graduate. Um, we weren't allowed to wear our caps, so I don't really remember what it's for or where it goes, but... Yeah, so that's that. Um, I got an NF VIP pass to his perception tour a few years ago. And then I got a travel case here for all my cords, cables, chargers, everything that goes in there that I need to travel with or that I want to bring with me that is small that will go in there. Got my passport there. Um, my CD to my EP. Um, speaking of that, if you haven't listened to my EP, it's out now on all streaming platforms. Um, I got a, I got the box of the microphone here, and then I got a um, hard drive there. I got my Focusrite interface, connects through USB. This is the second generation. This is the 2i2. You can connect a line or instrument both at the same time um, outputs as well and so yeah that's that and got some Apple earbuds right there um, just the wired ones um, with a 3.5 millimeter so I'll give you a quick story on that all right so the story behind these headphones pretty simple if you've listened to any of my songs the first couple songs they were recorded with this microphone i remember in my closet i had a cubby i put a piece of tape on the top one at the bottom that's what i recorded those songs with um a couple songs after that i borrowed a condenser mic from one of my buddies it was a akg c1000 so that was definitely a huge upgrade from this whatever this thing is um, now looking back, those songs sounded terrible, but these were the headphones that I started with, or even before these, um, when I was younger, I was like 13 or 14, I was using a microphone on my iPod. So I guess these were a step up from that. Um, but here we are now with this one. So yeah. So that's the story behind those headphones. I'm gonna move on to this magic mouse and this magic keyboard. I got these two as a gift. I also find that it's a lot um, easier when I'm mixing or editing or when I'm recording that I have a keyboard or a mouse or a um, trackpad or even all three. Like it just makes it a lot easier to move around and everything. I also have a USB-C hub. I'll get back to that in a little bit. That red cord connects to my interface and through that USB port, it connects to my computer. 
so it's a long process I guess but I also have a HDMI cord that connects to my monitor also down there I also got a pair of airpods so moving on to my monitor it's a 27 inch Acer um, this one's super nice I really like it um, just it's just a bigger screen that I can just fit more stuff on and work with or have like multiple projects open at one time so that's pretty much that for the monitor um, moving down that connects also into my computer it's I run a Mac I'm a pretty big Mac guy I just find that it's a lot easier to work with also I really like working with logic too so shout out to Apple I guess um, this is a 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro um, it's just the base model but it runs really good and it is huge and it is also heavy to carry around sometimes too so that is that for that section I guess I'll move on to this section all right so up here I just got a couple things floating around I got a CD drive for when I was making my EP a couple wires a couple empty boxes um, a Rob Nash tour journal down here I got a couple sharpies a pen and SD card a couple coasters that one of my friends made me um, shout out to you in Saskatchewan um, I got a wrench all right so the story behind this wrench it came with the reflection filter thing is it doesn't work it doesn't fit any of the bolts or the screws that came with the filter nothing so it's just it's just there it just came with it I don't know what kind of sign or what kind of meaning it had or what it was trying to tell me but that's what came with it and here I am trying to screw everything in with a non-working wrench so that's that also have a pair of Beats headphones here the studio ones at least six years old and if you haven't noticed I got a lot of headphones reason why I mix with all these headphones these these airpods and these I use them all for one song I just like to listen to them over and over again with different headphones or without headphones to see if they sound good at least or at least decent enough um, so yeah call me weird but that's how I do it in here I got a duster down here I have the beast probably still one of my favorite laptops ever this is the 2015 MacBook Pro this thing is a tank um, does what it needs to do and also for the purpose of this video usually I have lyrics here or for when I'm writing that's my notes is up here but for this video I got all my links here so speaking of these links if you follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook whatever you follow me on if you click the link in my bio it will take you to this page um, choose your platform that you listen to and stream away um, down here also got a Apple watch charger yes I own an Apple watch got a lightning cable to charge my keyboard my mouse and my airpods so multi-purpose over here I got a notebook um, all my venting sessions are in there all my lyrics all my upcoming um, ideas are in there so yeah so that's pretty much it this is my home studio hope you enjoyed <laughs>